All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call the text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. All right, Laurie Marketing is headed to Cleveland, a three-team trade. Let's talk about it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, share the video. Let's talk about a Shams reporting that the three-team deal is all, almost done. And Damian Lillard is getting a little bit of help, all right, in the trade. We'll check out the NBA Talk playlist, share the video, all that good stuff. It says the Bulls, the Cavaliers, and Trailblazers are closing in on the three-team deal, sending Laurie Marketing to Cleveland, Larry Nash to Portland, Derek, John, Derek Jones Jr., I think former slam dunk champion, the first-round pick in addition I know draft conversation in Chicago sources tell uh, the athletics. All right, so my thing is with that trade, man. Um, I mean, I I think it would have been a bigger trade had marketing ended up in Portland. I think that is exactly what uh, I think that is exactly what Portland. Well, I'm gonna say exactly. That's what Portland would have needed. You know, marketing kind of had a last couple few down years too because. Whatever reason it was, man, because remember, you know, they had a lot going on in Chicago. People forget that. They had a ton going on in Chicago. Y'all remember Bobby Porter's beat up, uh, he beat up, um, he beat up, uh, what's the other cast name? Uh, Miritich. He beat up Miritich, and Miritich left the team. He went overseas, didn't want to play basketball no more. Bobby Porter's put them hands on him. Then, uh, then who else did we have? We had uh, had a few things going. I mean, they ain't been winning neither, too. So that that always hurt too, man. When you don't win. So I mean, at the end of the day, I think marketing going to Cleveland. I guess they grew. They may be trading Kevin Love because him and Kevin Love do the same thing. I think Kevin Love is just a better rebounder. I think he's a he's a better rebounder, and that's about it. But. When you look at marketing, he he's I didn't know he was a legit seven foot. I thought he more I think I thought he was more five eleven ish. But they say he's legit say he's a seven foot. I didn't know he was from Finland. I thought he was somewhere, but he's like he only twenty four years old. He's a legit seven foot and Cleveland is getting the same players. A poor man's Kevin Love or a younger well, I can't even say a younger Kevin Love because when you look at Kevin Love when he was younger he was a rebounding machine. So marketing, marketing got to focus more on. My bad, marketing, marketing ain't the rebounder. Kevin Love, you look at Kevin Love first few years, 11 and 9, 14, 11, 20, 15, 26, 13, 18, 14, 26, 12, and then he came to Cleveland. The worst thing happened to his career in Cleveland. You know, LeBron kind of hurt big man. You look at uh, marketing. 15, seven. well, marketing not too far about. He's 15 and 7 his rookie year, 18 and 9, 14 and 60, 14 and 6, 36 and 5. And I think he need to be more of a 5. Honestly, I think they need to work him towards a 5 more. But for that to happen, he got to get bigger and stronger. He already got the mobility. If he gets stronger, it's over with. And they teach him to play in the post a little bit more. But he got everything he need for modern big. They could take off the dribble a little bit with the jab step. He could shoot his shot. He was 13 and 5 last year. 48% from the field, 40% from three, 82% from the free throw line. So, really, it's no big issue just playing a bit health, I think it is with him. I just think his health, man. I think uh, he's legit seven foot. And I think, uh, like I said before, for Cleveland, you know, I, I don't know if he's a fit, honestly. But you got Jared Allen to guard the bucket. You got Mark in the BL stretch four, learning from Kevin Love as long as you're there. Um, your three guard over there, they did get Isaac Okoro. So, yeah, it's a young team. Colin Sexton, a good all-around player. Garland, and for, to have a small backcourt, if they don't trade Sexton, you know, you got to have a mystic, you have a cleanup guy, and Jared Allen is a cleanup guy. You know, you got two undersized guards, and uh, Darius Garland and uh, and Colin Sexton. You got to have somebody in the back to protect them, and they got Jared Allen. But, you know, they got an undersized backcourt with Garland and, uh, and Sexton. They were trying to move Sexton. Uh, they were trying to move Sexton uh, this offseason. It didn't happen. But Sexton is 6'1". Garland is 6'1". As a core and good defender. Aaron Allen a good defender. So, they I mean, at the end of the day, they got to make a move. 
they got to get bigger in the backcourt. And if it's Isaac Okoro in the backcourt, and they find the uh, and they and they find another three. But let's look at their roster. Okoro, Okoro six five. So this motherfucker, ain't, I thought he was six seven. He ain't no uh, he's six five, bro. So he ain't no uh, he ain't nowhere near a three. So he a two. And for the most part, he kind of undersized too. One more inch, he would have been true right around, in my opinion, a true a true uh, two guard, but. Look at the Cavs roster. Look at their roster. So I don't know. Oh, okay, they drive Mobley to this week. So also you talk about Evan Mobley. Now I know why Evan Mobley was trending. Evan Mobley was trending. So this ain't good. So I I don't know. Um Yeah, this ain't good. I don't know why they would trade for marketing and they got Mobley. So Mobley must not be ready. Um, he's actually oh Mobley actually working out with Stephen Adams. That's a perfect person to work out with. Strong, gritty guy. But uh, I don't really know where he fit in at this at. Because Mobley is like a four or five. Marketing is a four or five. You got Jared Allen. I don't know. I honestly don't know. They played uh, they actually paid uh, Lloyd Marketing. They paid him some good bucks too. But hold on. So they got Rubio Sexton, Lamar Stevenson, Roger Thompson, Dean, Dean Wayne, Evan Mobley, uh, Garland. Dean. So like I said, some things going to have to change on this roster, to be honest, bro. A lot of things going to have to change on this roster. So they just got a lot of talent that don't fit necessarily right now. It fit, but it don't fit to be a successful team. But, I mean, so Laurie Marketing got an extension, too. He got a four-year 67, man, and is, is only guaranteed for six of the 18 in the final year. So his final year, he only guaranteed for six of eighteen. So it's a three-team trade going on. Dog under me. Three, six, three men. You know. So marketing, and then you talk about uh, Portland getting Larry Nance Jr. Um, somebody that put up some good numbers in the past when he got an opportunity to play. Uh, five played in the league. Um, he only six seven. I thought this motherfucker was six ten. I thought he was more of a, of a four. So I don't, I don't really know how, how he helped you. He ain't played many minutes. He played a career high minutes last year, 31.2. He only averaged nine points and five rebounds. He uh, shot 36%, 76 from the three. How many attempted last year? He attempted 3.3 a game, made 1.2. So I I don't understand how this helped him. Larry, Larry, Larry marketing, the perfect fit was, uh, was going to Portland. But like I said, uh, this ain't gonna help Damian Lillard stay, and then Derrick Jones Jr. in conversation going back to uh, Chicago, and I think um, the conversation can help Chicago. They lost their pick this year in the Vujovic trade, but um, other than that, I, don't, I mean, unless Larry Nance ain't had the opportunity, I think that's been an issue. He ain't had the opportunity. If he if he if the opportunity he had the opportunity in Cleveland, I mean in Portland, maybe something happened, but. Uh, like I said before, man, um, we will see, man. So, I don't necessarily think, other than Chicago in compensation, any of the three teams are helped. I think marketing going to uh, Chicago, going to from Chicago and signing trade to Portland, that would have been better. So, but like I said before, they're not doing no favors to keep uh, Damian Lillard happy. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Check the NBA Talk playlist out. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good three one three. Memo CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. That's what to donate. Thumbs up, share, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Peace.